And the Texas Attorney General's office issue is issuing a $1.3 million fine saying that Valero was responsible for a citywide ban on water use. In December of 2016, water use was banned by the city for three days after possible contamination from an industrial plant. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage has the very latest. That seven-figure fine appeared in Valero's quarterly earnings report filed last week. In it, the company told investors that it was, quote, working with the Texas AG to resolve this matter. This all began on December 15th of 2016 when Corpus Christi residents received an alert on their phones that said not to use the tap water. It is continual tap water usage until further notice. Days later, city leaders revealed why a chemical used to make asphalt had leaked into the city water supply. The source of the problem was discovered on property owned by Valero. An environmental investigation found the company that leased the land didn't follow city plumbing standards met to protect public health. A Chris 6 News investigation later found the city wasn't enforcing those rules and that led to sweeping reform of city plumbing codes. The earnings report filed by Valero also mentions a separate $167,000 fine from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. That was for, quote, inspection and permit violations related to third-party tanks. We've requested documents related to the investigation and we'll let you know when we get them. Jessica Savage, 6 Investigates. Thank you, Jessica, and Valero hasn't issued a comment. They referred us to the quarterly report Jessica mentioned in her story. And if you would like to read the full statement, visit our website at ChrisTV.com.